I'm Sarah Lancaster and I'm a nature instructor at Forest Ridge Park. I want to tell you about some cool images from our park's wildlife cameras over the past year and a half. Wildlife cameras allow us to see what's happening all over the park at night, on or off the trail, deep into the woods. White-tailed deer can be seen throughout North Carolina and the park. However, finding a white deer is most unusual. In the spring of 2019, the wildlife cameras captured a mother deer and her twin fawns. Twins occur about one out of every five births in the deer population. What is most unusual about these twins is that they are white deer or albino. Albino deer only occur in about one out of every 1,000 births. Notice their pink eyes and pink ears. Albino means there's an absence of normal body coloring or pigment. Deer are usually a shade of tan to brown. Sometimes you see a piebald deer and it has varying amounts of white fur mixed in with the natural tan and brown fur. However, a piebald deer has a normal eye color. The albino deer has no pigment due to a genetic mutation from both parents. This mutation lacks an enzyme that creates your normal skin coloring, eye coloring, hair coloring. This makes the white deer at risk in the forest because they don't have any ability to hide behind the trees and camouflage. They also have poor eyesight. Their eyes appear pink because there's no color in the iris and you are actually seeing the blood vessels behind the limbs. The pair of fawns have grown up and the wildlife cameras have captured their images several times. Patrons at the park continue to report seeing the two albino deer. Recently, the camera caught one of the adult deer. You can see the buck, identifiable by his antlers, enjoying a stroll near the lake with a female companion. Another cool find in the park occurs in late fall and early winter. Deer begin to rub the fuzzy velvet off their antlers. Antlers are fuzzy throughout the summer. This velvet fuzz provides nutrition and growth for the antlers. By fall, the antlers are fully grown and the bone cell begins to die. The velvet dries up and falls off. The camera captures the buck rubbing his antlers against the tree. In January, the bucks will actually lose their antlers and they will be growing new ones in the spring. The buck's branches or points increase as the buck ages. Antlers are important in distinguishing the strongest and healthiest buck, the one who will end up mating and passing on their genes. So pay attention to any deer that you see. If it's late winter, you may be looking at a buck without antlers. In the late winter, early spring, you may be seeing a female who's soon ready to give birth. The fawns will appear in late spring with their signature white spots. 
Those spots help the baby camouflage in the woods and they disappear at age four months. If you're lucky, maybe you'll see a white deer. A wildlife camera is a really cool tool to have to find wildlife in your neighborhood. You can visit the Welcome Center at Forest Ridge Park and look at our TV and see more cool animals that live in the park. Thank you for joining us today.